Excuse me. Hello, my name is Kevin. I am the Dapper Man, and today I'm going to be talking about a movie. It's a film that I. It's okay. I'm not even going to go too much into this movie because I don't even care. It's called Gods of Egypt. See right there? Yeah. That thrilling, exciting movie. I just want you to look at this case. I just want you to look at this movie! <laughs> Sorry, apologize. It's just that this was the worst movie I've ever saw. I hated everything about it. This is so mind-blowingly stupid. I couldn't take it. Let me try this again. I can't describe into words of how awful this movie is. I can't even write down what this movie's about because it's all over the place. So I would do the cheating way, which is my favorite way of doing a movie review. I want to tell you exactly what this blue break case says in the back because you're just curious to know what it says. I know it's not zooming in. Why? I don't know. It's probably because the movie's so awful. It doesn't want to let you know what the movie's about. Anyhow, says Gerald Butler and Nicola Costarado. That guy, yeah. Star as rival gods, docked in an epic battle to decide the fate of the universe in this thrilling fantasy adventure. If I could just tell you how exciting this movie was, it would just blow your mind because this movie was not exciting at all whatsoever. It was frustrating, it was garbage. The CGI, the story, the acting, I mean everything was bad in this movie. Even the music, it was so bland. It was awful. The beginning of the movie, it was one of the most awful things ever. I mean, here's the beginning of the movie. If you know the whole story, from what I recall, it goes something like this. That's the best they got, is as I recall. Here's a true story, but here it is as I recalled it. What, what kind of beginning of a movie is that? It's awful. It was garbage, it's rubbish, and for someone who studies Egyptology, I love Egypt. I love to study the history of it, whether it's biblical, whether it's learning about the gods and goddesses and how they mummified people and so forth. I mean, it made the mummy with Brendan Fraser look like an Academy Award winning picture. And it's good, but it's not that great. It's just fun. This movie... movie what made it worse was that this movie could have been done in 90 minutes 90 minutes 90 and you could have got everything done no 90 minutes was not enough for this film they had to keep going and it kept going but like two and a half hours I think and it was inane it was ridiculous it was preposterous it was sucked oh it sucked the life out of me It was awful. What's worse is that this movie was directed by the same director of The Crow, which I don't really care about that movie, but Dark City. I have that movie. Where are you? There you are. This movie right here, Dark City, one of the best movies I would highly recommend because it's so amazing. This movie was everything but amazing. It was trash. And that's basically what I can tell you about it because I really couldn't tell you anything about it other than just fighting and mocking and fighting and mocking and fighting. They just draw Butler turns from human to this anamorphic creature of a god for no reason. They cut themselves, they bleed gold. Why? I mean, I guess that's kind of cool when gods bleed gold, but still. If you bleed gold, but then you demand gold, why? That's like if I bleed pizza and I demand pizza to cons Yeah, don't even go there. That's 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 weird. You're delicious, bro. <laughs> Ciao, boys. <laughs>
So, in case you really want to watch a movie, this is not even so bad, it's good. That's what makes it so difficult. Like, I would love for this movie to be so bad, it's good, but it's so bad, it's bad. I mean, the whole thing just, I don't think there's a single ugly person in this movie. Or an average looking person. I'm pretty average. I'm just going to say that, and that's honestly, and I take pride in it. I'm a very average looking person. There, everyone here was like a freaking model. No one looked normal. Not one scar, not one blemish, not one anything. There was so much spinning cameras. I mean, it made me just get a headache because there's nothing I love better than spinning cameras. And every time, whenever an action took place, that camera was non-stop spinning. It drove me up the wall. Oh, the things I said was pretty ridiculously stupid. I was hoping for something so bad it's good. It was so bad it just made it worse. But that's it. If you want to know why it's rated PG-13, here it is. I highly advise you not to watch the movie, but because you may be curious because you might be saying, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about and I know exactly what I'm saying. It's bad. There's a reason why this movie did so horrible on the box office and worldwide. That is it. I hope you enjoyed watching this because I sure as crap didn't enjoy watching the movie. That's it. There's a reason why that movie's a dollar. But then again, I get a lot of movies for a dollar. So scratch that. Yeah. That's it. Have a lovely day. Cheers.